What's up? I'm Triple Sheet. As you know, Black Myth Wukong is quite a difficult game to run, especially on lower end hardware. I'm getting some pretty good FPS as I've used my optimized settings from my Black Myth Wukong optimization guide, but for a lot of people with lower end systems, even the lowest possible graphics options, you may still be struggling. If I turn off a frame generation and crank everything down to the lowest possible, which is these over here, you'll see that we're now getting, with FSR at around 70, the game's default, 70, 80 ish FPS without frame generation at all. The game looks a little bit worse, but it's still pretty good. On lower end systems, you may still even be struggling with what we have here. In this quick video, I'll be showing you a mod that lowers the game options even more to make it handle better on handheld consoles, lower end laptops, and lower end PCs. So let's go ahead and do it. In the description down below, you'll find a link to two separate mod pages on Nexus Mods. Keep in mind, you will need a free account on Nexus Mods in order to download these files, but we'll get there in a moment. First of all, the downgraded Wukong visuals. This mod adds three separate settings over here that allow you to crank down your settings even more, which are especially useful for lower end systems. And of course, if you'd like to improve the visuals slightly, they also offer the EWV mod, which is the enhanced Wukong visuals, which allows you to customize things like fog, which may actually help hide some of the imperfections that come with lower end graphics. First of all, the downgraded visuals mod, which you'll find down below. Head across to the files tab right over here, and you'll find these separate files. Choose the version that better matches your system, slightly downgrades the visuals a little bit, considerably a lot more, and significantly is the lowest quality option that you could probably possibly get, which removes shadows, makes the game look very flat and dim. Don't recommend this unless you're desperate. I'll be downloading the considerable option, which is is the mid tier here. Keep in mind you can get a ton of extra performance on even lower end hardware with the third option. So I'll download the middle option over here considerably using the manual download here. Slow download and we'll open the zip when it's done downloading. In here you'll find a .pak file. All that you need to do with this is head across to the games folder, content, packs, and tilde mods where we'll be dropping this file. So if you have the game on Steam, right click it, choose manage, and browse local files. Other platforms should be similar. In here, open the B1 folder, followed by content, packs, and inside of here, we'll be making a new folder, if you don't already have one, called tilde mods. You'll find it right over here on the mods page. So we'll copy this. Control shift n for a new folder, and we'll paste in the name. Enter to set the name, and enter to open our new folder. Drag the pack file from the zip we just downloaded into here, and just like that, the mod should now be installed. Now we should have lesser graphics options chosen in game for us. We also need to add the command file open log to our startup commands in Steam in order for it to load this extra mod. So we'll copy this minus file open log and inside of Steam we'll right click the game properties, head across to the general tab and we'll paste it in at the very bottom over here as such minus file open log one word close and we're done. If you'd like to add fog back, which can help improve the visuals quite a bit, as we have lowered settings a lot, this second mod page you'll find, head across to the Files tab, scroll down, and you'll see optional files at the very bottom. Download just the fog enabler over here. So manual download and slow download. Once again, open up the zip when it's done, and we'll be dragging this file to the same folder that we just created. So we'll drag it into here. Once we've done that, both of these mods are now installed. Let's go ahead and see what the improvement is. Play the game and load back into our save. And there we go, we're back in the game. We're now running at around 70-ish FPS, so we didn't gain all that much. I do have a powerful graphics card, so it's not holding me back, but if you have a much lower end GPU and a much higher end CPU, so you're heavily GPU limited, then this is gonna help you quite a bit. Say a lower end 1050, for example. You should see a good improvement in performance, although I don't see anything as I have a powerful enough system to handle this quite easily, it's my CPU holding me back, and, well, that's that. Anyways, at this point, things should feel quite a bit better. If at any point you'd like to uninstall this mod, simply just quit out of the game, as such. In your game folder, head back to B1, Content, Packs, Mods, and inside of here, just make sure to delete both of the pack files over here. That's it. I'd recommend you leave the launch option still in Steam, or whatever your platform is. That way you can install mods in the future a little bit easier. Anyways, that's really it for this super quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.